Hello, hello, hello! <laughs> How are you guys? Are you ready? <laughs> Welcome to another video. Today we're going to do we're going to do another crossword and we're gonna keep score. And before we get started, don't forget to subscribe and also click on the bell icon so you can get notified every time I upload a new video. Also visit smlessons.com for more free Spanish lessons. By the way, you can download this crossword puzzle for free. You only have to go to smlessons.com slash games. I'm leaving a link to that in the video description down below as well. So are you guys ready? <laughs> Last time, K Beck won the crossword puzzle and today we'll see if she wins again uh, or if we have a different person winning this crossword puzzle. We keep score, so you only need to use the live chat to type in your answers and I will be reading you the description of each single word, okay? And <laughs> yeah, today we're gonna have a crossword puzzle about random Spanish words, okay? So that's gonna be challenging and very interesting. Give this video a thumbs up as well, please. That helps this channel a lot and Let's get started. I'm going to choose the first word and then from there you can, uh, whoever wins or whoever guesses the word needs to tell me the next word, okay? The next number. Okay, so let's see. We have a bunch of different words here. I'm going to choose a really short one, okay? And that's going to be three down, three down. So that one is right here and it has only three letters, only three letters, okay? So that might be a little easy, but we'll see. Okay. I hope you can hear me well as well. And uh, <laughs> I'm going to read the definition. So, three down. This word is a noun, okay? And the definition is a feeling of needing or wanting to drink something. Okay, so again, this is a noun and we're doing three down. And the definition is a feeling of needing or wanting to drink something. Do you know the answer to that? Hello, Chanel. Hello, Kay. How are you? Are you guys ready? Okay, so I see some answers already. Marcos Barrera has the right answer. Welcome, Marcos. That is correct. We're talking about sed, sed. And that means thirst, okay? So the word is sed, thirst. Okay, so I'm going to give the point to Marcos. That's the first point. Well done. Hello, SK, welcome. Um, Marcus is saying two down. Okay, so that is a very long, long, long word. Oops, now you know the first <laughs> letter. <laughs> the two down is this one, okay? And you probably saw one letter. If not, I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, so two down. Two down is an adjective, okay? That is an adjective. And the definition is to love someone very much in a romantic way, 
Okay, so what do you call or how do you express or say uh, or call someone who is in love in Spanish? Do you know the answer to this? This is an adjective and the definition is to love someone very much in a romantic way. Chanel is very close. K Beck has the right answer. Enamorado, enamorado, okay? Uh, hello, Trent, welcome. <laughs> we, yes, we are uh, guessing random Span Spanish words. So yeah, it's gonna be fun. It's been fun so far. Okay, so enamorado. Enamorado is the right word, okay? And that word is right here. Enamorado, enamorado. That means to be in love, okay? And it is an adjective. Let's remember that. So K gets a point. Good job. Okay, K gets one point. Um, okay, so K says five down. Five down. That one is right here. And the definition, first of all, this is a verb, okay? And it has five letters only. A verb, okay? The definition is to give money to in return for goods or services rendered, okay? So you're, what's the action of giving money in return for services or good goods or something like that. How do you call that? It's a verb, remember. Trent, Trent, Trent has the answer, pagar, pagar. That means to pay, pagar, okay? Good job, Trent, okay, pagar, pagar. So Trent gets a point. Trent one K one Marcos one. Okay. Welcome Mo Mobile Conan. <laughs> Welcome. Okay. So Trent, please tell us which number next. Okay, twelve across. Twelve across. Of a cross is right here. Right here. This word also has five letters. Okay? So let's see the definition. 12 across is a verb, another verb. And the definition is the action of coming to a place with someone or something in brackets, right? I mean, it's just the action of coming to a place with something or with someone. So how do you say this in Spanish? Remember, it's a verb. It has five letters. Okay, um, it's not venir, it's not llevar, it's not llegar, it's, it, those are good guesses, but uh, yeah, Chanel has the right answer. We're talking about traer, traer, okay, traer means to bring okay so traer traer and chanel has a point perfect awesome okay so traer to bring now chanel please let us know the next number okay eight down eight down let's find it 
Okay, that one is right here. And it has seven letters. Okay, that's a medium size word, medium length word. Okay, let's see. This is an adjective. A down is an adjective. And the definition is of a size that is less than normal or usual. Okay, it's an adjective. And of a, the definition is of a size that is less than normal or usual. Something, you know, how do you call this? Something that has a <laughs> peculiar, peculiar size. Okay, K. Yeah, that's correct. K is correct. We're talking about pequeño, pequeño. And that means small, okay? Pequeño, pequeño. And I'm, I'm really happy that you're using ñ, the letter ñ, because that's, that's tricky when you're typing that in, for sure. Okay, so pequeño means small. And K gets a point. Perfect. Now, K says six down. Six down. That one is right here and it has five letters. Five letters. This is a noun and the definition is an instrument for writing or drawing consisting of a thin stick of graphite or a similar substance enclosed in a long thin piece of wood or fixed in a metal or plastic case. Usually I will say this is made out of wood, okay? So do you know what this is? You use it for writing or drawing. Okay, I see here is a dilemma because Marcos has the right spelling, but K is so close. Like she was the first one to type this in. Okay, so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna give the point to K and Marcos because we have done this before. And I know that some people have difficulties uh, using the accent marks because of their key, keyboard, no, keyboard, sorry. So I'm gonna give this to K and Marcos. That's correct. We're talking about lapis, lapis. And lapis has an accent mark on top of the letter A, okay? So Marcos gets a point and K gets a point. Oh, sorry. Three, <laughs> Marcus two, K three, perfect. Okay, now K or Marcus, please tell me a number. Oh, by the way, lapis means pencil, if I didn't say that before. <laughs> pencil, lapis. Um, Marco says nine down. Nine down. Let's see where this is. Okay, nine down. That one has six letters. Nine down. And the definition is, this is a noun. And the definition, an abnormally high body temperature, usually accompanied by shivering, headache, and in severe instances, delirium. So this is something that happens when someone uh, feels too hot, you know? It's just high body temperature 
usually accompanied by shivering, headache, and in, se in severe instances, delirium. Okay. Yes, K Beck has the answer. She she's really fast. K is really fast. Okay. Uh, we're talking about fiebre. Fiebre. And let's reveal the word fiebre. Fiebre. Fiebre means fever. Okay. And K gets a point. Marcus 2, K4, Trent 1, Chanel 1. Good job, guys. K is saying for a cross. For a cross, that one is right here. For a cross, that one is how many letters? Three. Eight letters. That one, that one has eight letters. Okay, this is an adjective. No, actually, hang on, sorry. For a cross, for a cross. That's a verb. <laughs> this is a verb and the definition is feel regret or sadness at no longer being able to enjoy the presence of. This is a verb and what this is about when you feel regret or sadness at no longer being able to enjoy the presence of. Do you know what I'm talking about? And we can see that the first letter is E. Mm -hmm. So usually this verb is about wishing to uh, when you wish that someone was there with you, you know? Mm -hmm. Marcos, Marcos has the answer. We're talking about extrañar, extrañar, okay? Extrañar, and that means to miss, when you miss someone or something. So Marcos gets the point. Marcos gets a point. Good job. Okay, Marcos, tell us. 19 across. 19 across. That one is 19 across. Um, I don't think we have 19 across. We have one across, seven across, 10 across, 14 across. Maybe that's the one right here. Is this the one that you're referring to? That's 14 across, 10 across, 11 across, 13 across. <laughs> okay. Yeah, yeah, okay, 14 across. 14 across is the one right here at the bottom. Okay, perfect. Let's see, 14 across. This is a noun. This is a noun and the definition is, by the way, it has five letters. A form of play or sport, especially a competitive one, played according to rules and decided by skill, strength, or luck. How do you call this? This is a noun and is a form of play or sport, especially a competitive one, played according to rules and decided by skill, strength, or luck. Yes. Marcos, Marcus has the answer. We're talking about juego, juego, okay? So that's right here, juego. And that means game, el juego, the game. Perfect. So Marcus gets a point. 
Wow. Okay, we have a tie right now so far. Marcus four, K four, Trent one, Chanel one. Perfect. Now, Marcos, please. Oh, okay. I see you. You already sent something. Okay, ten across. Ten across. That one is right here, and it has only five letters. Five letters. And this is a noun. Okay. And the definition is material manufactured in thin sheets from the pulp of wood or other fibrous substances used for writing, drawing, or printing on, or as a wrapping material. <laughs> Do you know the answer? But Trent, if you're having issues, if, if there's some sort of lagging or delay, you can um, refresh your browser or reload the live stream and that sometimes helps, okay? K Beck has the answer. No, actually, Trent, Trent, Trent has the answer. Good job, Trent. We're talking about papel, papel. And we can see the uh, word right here, papel, papel. This means paper. Perfect. So Trent gets a point. Yep. Okay. So Trent, please tell us 13 across, 13 across. That one is right here. And it has seven letters, seven letters. So it's a little long. This is an adjective, okay? And the definition is affected by physical or mental illness. So this happens to people, uh, to animals as well, when they're affected by physical or mental illness. How do you call this <laughs> do you guys know yes that is correct we're talking about enfermo enfermo and that means sick when someone is sick it could be an animal or a person perfect enfermo enfermo and we can see that Marcus gets the point. Marcus. Perfect. Marcus, five points. K4, Trent two, Chanel one. Perfect. Now, Marcus is saying 11 across. 11 across. That one is right here. So we have uh, six, seven, eight letters. Eight letters. And this is a noun, another noun. And the definition is a reflective, well, actually, hang on. It's 11 across, not 11 down. Uh, 11 across is a noun. It's still a noun. And the definition is a structure with a roof and walls that has either apartments, offices, or other kind of businesses. <laughs> wow, that was fast. <laughs> that was pretty fast. Marcus, oops, what did I do? There you go. <laughs> Marcus, you're right. We're talking about... Oh, hang on, hang on, hang on. Hang on. <laughs> I think I... Actually, yeah, it should be... Yeah, you're right. Sorry. That was... That was my bad. Edificio. 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 And that means building. Okay? Edificio means building. Now, Marcus gets the point. Wow, Marcus. Six points already. Okay, so 
Marcus is saying 11, 11 down, 11 down. That's right here. Perfect. So 11 down, this is a noun and the definition is a reflective surface now typically of glass coated with a metal, metal amalgam that reflects a clear image. This is a noun and it's a reflective surface now typically of glass or made out of glass coated with a metal amalgam that reflects a clear image. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Oh boy, Marcus is unstoppable. <laughs> That's the right answer. Yeah, you have the right spelling, Marcus. Uh, yes, that's the answer. We're talking about espejo, espejo. And that means mirror, okay? Espejo, mirror. And Marcus gets the point. Wow, okay. <laughs> Now we have two more words, okay? So Marcus is saying one across. Now, this is a noun, okay? And the definition is the day of the month or year as specified by a number. How do you call this? The day of the month or year as specified by a number. Usually you have, uh, you have day, month, and year. How do you call that in Spanish? Anybody? Trent? Yes, that's correct. That is correct. We are talking about fecha. Fecha. That means date. Okay? Fecha. Fecha means date. Okay, Trent gets the point. Just give a, a point here. Perfect. Awesome. Now, we are going to guess the last word. Okay, guys, this is the last word. So pay attention. And that one is seven across. Seven across. This is another noun. Okay, and the definition is the organ of hearing and balance in humans and other vertebr vertebrates. I think that's how you pronounce this word, vertebrates. <laughs> Especially the external part of this. So what do you call this um, organ of hearing? Let's see. Yes, Chanel is correct. We are talking about oreja, 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 oreja. And that means ear, okay, ear. Chanel gets the point. Awesome. Okay, two points total for Chanel. So we can see that we have a winner already. And that person is Marcos Barreta. Congratulations, Marcos. You have won this crossword puzzle. Bravo. You know Spanish, my friend. You really know Spanish. And also all the people who participated. You guys know Spanish. I'm so proud of you. That is awesome. By the way, I would like to clarify something that happened in the last crossword puzzle. Uh, Freddie answered uh, or guessed one of the words before anybody else, and I didn't see that. And I gave the point to someone else. I'm so sorry, Freddie. 
I apologize for that. But uh, I hope you can come back and participate and, and uh, be here with us guessing more words. Thank you so much for watching. Marcus, congratulations. Bravo. You are the winner. Woo. Bravo. <laughs> so, uh, Kay, thank you for participating. Trent as well. Chanel, you guys are awesome. And also to everyone who is right here right now thank you so much for participating for guessing everything i'm so proud of you guys this is so much fun i really like this so if you want to download this crossword puzzle you can go to smlessons.com games don't forget about that and it's completely free don't forget to subscribe or before we we say goodbye or I say goodbye. Marcus, would you like to say something? <laughs> Any words? <laughs> okay, Marcus is saying thanks for letting us play. This is always fun. Yes, I absolutely agree with that. This is really fun. I love interacting with you guys and I hope that you learned some Spanish or you practiced your Spanish because, oh man, you really know Spanish, guys. <laughs> That's awesome. Okay, thank you so much for being here. Remember to subscribe and also click on the bell icon so you can get notified every time I upload a new video. Visit smlessons.com for more free Spanish lessons. Yeah, give this video a thumbs up. That helps a lot. And thank you for being here. Trent in Tampa. Well, Kay Beg says, muchas gracias por tus videos. You're welcome. I'm glad you like them. <laughs> I, I'm really glad you do. And Trent is saying, if you find one of one for flowers, I don't know the Spanish names of any flowers. Okay, we can do that. We can talk about uh, flowers, maybe um, plants. That will be that will be great. I think that's a good idea, Trent. Good job. Yeah. That's amazing. Yeah. Okay. Thank you so much for watching. Have a lovely evening or morning or afternoon, <laughs> wherever you are. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.